Flash mobs originated in Manhattan in 2003. The first aimed to poke fun at the idea of nonconformity, and they were defined as a group of people who assemble and perform a seemingly meaningless act, then disperse. Now, organizations use the spontaneous assembly as a form of promotion. I think that the whole element of curiosity is really what's so great about flash mobs. And we got this idea from flash dance mobs, which have been going on for a couple of years now. And really, you just catch people off guard. They see something going on. They're interested and they're curious and they want to find out more. And that's the whole thing about publicity. That's what, we're, that's what our goal is. At the University of Delaware, U Dress Magazine uses flash mob tactics for their guerrilla fashion shows, random pop-up runway shows that will take place unannounced on campus and promote the newest fall fashions. They start November 12th and are previews of the RSO's biggest function, the annual fall fashion event. And there's a team leader, which is what I am, and I'm responsible for finding models to model for the shows, then going to the stores and fitting the models with good outfits to wear. So for the show. From pillow fights to fashion shows, there have been a lot of interesting flash mobs in recent years. Some are aimed at promoting causes and others are assembled just for fun. Two weeks ago, the University of Delaware Student RSO organized a flash mob to promote the organization Be Positive. This drew a huge crowd on the green and a lot of buzz around campus. I heard that they had a Gangnam Style flash mob where they all did the Gangnam Style dance, which is, you know, that thing. <laughs> Flash mobs evolved from stunts pulled off for the shock value to an orchestrated public relations tool. It's a phenomenon and it's working. UD's flash mob has over 10,000 YouTube hits. Noir Carnavali for UD News. <laughs> 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 <laughs>